Assalamu alaikum students how are you i hope that you will be fine and enjoying your summer vacations nicely at your homes students today we are going to solve page number 22 of the remedy pack of level 9 and the subject is chemistry students at this page we have to solve the questions and that you have to learn and write on the loose sheet so students we start from the question number 29 polar and non polar covalent bond with example so students you have to define the terms polar bond and non polar covalent the answer is given on the page number 64 of your book that is covalent bond which is formed between the two similar atoms or you can say the homo atoms called as the non polar covalent bond it is because the two similar atoms attract shared pair of electron equally like in h2 and chlorine whereas if the covalent bond form between two different types of the atoms which is called the hetero atoms the covalent bond will be called as the polar covalent bond so students this is because bond pair of electrons will not be attracted equally by the bonded atoms now the question number 30 what is metallic bond so students metallic bond is a type of the chemical bond the answer is given on the page number 65 of your book that metallic bond is a type of a bond which is formed between the metal atoms which are positively charged ions due to mobile or free electrons so students the properties which are shown by the metal such as the high melting and the boiling point the conduction of heat and electricity hard and the heavy nature all that is just due to the chemical bond which is present between the atoms of the metal students now the number 31 define shielding effect students shielding effect is a type of the effect which basically reduces the nuclear charge felt by the outermost electrons in an atom so students this is given on the page number 52 of your book shielding effect actually the electrons which are present between the nucleus and the outermost electrons means the inner electrons they will reduce the attraction which is present between the outermost electrons and the nucleus due to which valence electron experiences less nuclear nuclear charge than that of the actual nuclear charge so this is called the effective nuclear charge so this effect is called the shielding effect so this shielding effect will be increasing when the atomic number will be increases because number of electrons in an atom also increases that result in increase of the shielding effect you can give also example of the sodium atom and the potassium atom number 32 who discovered the atomic number students atomic number is a very fundamental property of every element present in the periodic table the answer is given on the page number 46 of your book that in 1913 h dot mosley discovered a property of the element which is new atomic number atomic number basically describes the position of the element in the modern periodic table so properties of the elements will be the periodic function of their atomic number in the modern periodic table and it is a very fundamental property because every element 
atomic number is fixed and it regularly increase by one from one element to another element in the modern periodic table 33 define doberanier trites students doberanier is a german chemist and trites is a groups of three elements described by the doberanier the answer is given on the page number 45 of your book that doberanier observed relationship between atomic masses of the several groups of the three elements called trites and like calcium strontium barium so the atomic mass of the strontium is the average atomic mass of the calcium and the barium so this type of the group is called the trites explained by the doberanier so they are called doberanier's trite number 34 what is octet law students octet means the eight octet law or the octet rule is about attaining the stability by the different elements the answer is given on the page number 59 of your book that attaining two electrons in the valence shell is called duplet rule while attaining eight electrons in the valence shell is called octet rule so students octet rule is a rule in which elements attain eight electrons in their valence shell and that is a sign of stability for the various elements like the noble gases number 35 what is modern periodic table students modern periodic table is a long form of the periodic table which is form when we arrange the elements on the base of their atomic number the answer is given on the page number 46 of your book is that the modern periodic table is based upon the arrangement of elements according to their increasing atomic number when the elements are arranged according to the increasing atomic number from left to right in a horizontal row properties of elements were found repeating after regular intervals such that similar properties and similar configuration are placed in the same group like example we have every eighth element ninth element had properties similar to the first element sodium had similar properties to the lithium students that is all about our today's lecture i hope that you clearly understand all the terms so we will meet tomorrow even in our next video till then allah hafiz